Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Last episode, I dropped in the H22, and in today's episode, we're actually gonna paint the valve cover, clean it up just because it's looking a little aged. We're gonna get rid of the heat shield and polish up the headers as well. We're gonna go ahead and remove the power steering. So just to start things off, we're gonna remove the three bolts for the heat shield. Those are 12 mil bolts. We'll back those off and see what the headers look like. All right, so there is a little bit of rust buildup on these bolts. What we're gonna do is add some of the PB blaster to kind of loosen things up a little bit. So when we go ahead and back off these nuts on there, they don't cause us too much difficulty. These nuts on the headers shouldn't actually be that hard to remove, but PB blaster has helped me out a lot with some stubborn bolts and nuts on the vehicle. That's just a peace of mind that it's gonna be a little bit easier for myself to work with. So the next thing we're gonna do while that PB blaster is doing its thing is we're gonna remove that 10 mil bolt right there. This one down here as well. To remove this heat shield so we can get easier access to this little nut in here on the bottom right hand side. Next we're gonna use this U-joint adapter with a 12 mil socket. Back this nut off. There we go. Do the same for everything else. Loosen it up, get them all out. Lastly, these two 14 mil bolts you need to remove off as well so you can get the header off. Gasket's actually in really good shape too. Next I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the power steering. Everything is pretty much kind of ready for me. A lot of the stuff has already been cut off from the time that I got the motor, so this should be pretty quick and pretty easy to do. We're gonna go ahead and start removing these guys. These are 10 mil. Get this off. And back off this 10 mil as well, so we have a little bit of room to get underneath here. That'll give us that room. This will be a 12 mil now on this bolt. Then there's another one underneath here on the pulley, just right there. You're gonna need to remove that one as well. 12 mil as well. Then backing off this tensioner screw will actually just loosen up that belt enough that that pulley will be easier to pop out. We'll take off this one as well, just so it'll pop off. There we go. And now, this should come right off. This should come right out. Power steering pump off. All right, to complete the removal, we gotta take these three 14 mil bolts off and then it'll come right off. And I'll probably have to remove that. That's a 10 mil. All right, so that should come off. All right, so there it is, power steering removed. Uh, overall, just looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. Gonna have to figure out a little bracket in here for this, just so we can keep this from bouncing around and flopping like that. Uh, other than that, uh, gonna work on the valve cover. We're gonna remove this, get the paint stripped off here, prime, painted, and replace that, and see how much that cleans up this engine bay. So I have to remove a clip, undo a nut right here, so I can get this far enough over that I can pop this off so I can get to these nuts underneath here. So to remove the paint off the valve cover, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some paint stripper. Now it says to just go in one direction, so that's what we're gonna do. Make sure you remove all the rubber pieces on the, on the uh, valve cover as well, because this does not do well with rubbers or plastics. You can see that it's already working pretty well. All right, so I've taped it off, cut everything out, did another final wipe, and now we're gonna hit it with some high heat primer. We're gonna do three coats. We're gonna go 
horizontally, vertically, and diagonally, just to try and get as much coverage as possible. So the first two coats will be fairly light, and the third coat will be a little bit more of a medium coat. So it's been a full hour, we're gonna go ahead and throw that top coat on and I am using a black wrinkle paint. I've seen a lot of YouTube channels do the wrinkle paint on their valve covers and the results have come out nice, so yeah, I'm gonna do it on mine. And here we're kinda just going at it on all angles. Finish things off, I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down just with my block. I've taped everything off nicely so I don't scratch anything else anywhere. And uh, we're just gonna finish this and see how it looks. The valve cover paint job is complete. I sanded this down just because it goes a lot better with matching for the rest of the engine bay. The cap here though, it does need to either get kind of tweaked or replaced entirely just because it doesn't seem to match that much in here. The headers, they were quite the challenge. There's still a lot of work on these guys just to get them where I'm happy with, but other than that, I might just coat them in a spray temporarily until I get new headers, but still, uh, they're looking much better than before. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you have any questions, do leave it in the comments below. Other than that guys, stay tuned for the next episode of Garage Specific.